Hey, what's going on guys? Glock9 here and welcome to 70 Minutes to Die Horde Every Night. We are on a random gen map. The seed for this map is God of Death, all one word, and it's title case, so the first letter of every word is capitalized. Uh, we have everything we start the game off with normally, plus I gave myself a level 1 padded hood with a helmet light mod so we can see what the hell's going on here at night and obviously i'm rushing here to get through the first initial challenges if you don't know what 70 minutes to die is it's basically just 10 minute days and we play for 70 minutes until we face the first horde night but this time we're doing horde every night so we're gonna face seven hordes in 70 minutes even though i don't think we'll probably see a horde for the first two maybe even three nights but we'll just see how it goes i don't know this is my first time trying it the settings for this game mode are warrior difficulty 10 minute days horde every night maxed out 64 zombie hordes even though on night seven i doubt we'll get more than a handful of zombies but we'll just have to wait and see and i also disabled airdrops now there's numerous ways to approach this challenge oh i'll definitely make use of that stone sledgehammer but in my attempt to make this as entertaining as possible, I'm going to treat this challenge like Ramblin' Man. I just didn't want to name it 70 Minutes to Die Horde Every Night Ramblin' Man because that's too much. But that's exactly how we're going to play it. We're just going to go from POI to POI, looting what we can, trying to collect as much food, drink, weaponry, ammo, and health supplies as we can. And, uh, you know, last until night 7. Now, you could start collecting as much wood as you possibly can and start making your own base and seeing if you can make a base in 70 minutes that will withstand seven hordes that's a cool way to play it and maybe i'll try it like that if this video does well but i thought the first way to do it uh, the most fun way to do it would just be to stay on foot not make a base i'm not gonna hide or cower up on a rooftop anywhere like i said it doesn't matter what time it is doesn't matter if there's a horde approaching i'm just gonna keep it moving and we're gonna see what the hell happens all right in case you missed it on top of the plant fiber shirt and pants that i had to make i also made shoes and gloves those will help us from overheating out in the desert let me put down this frame here and upgrade it and then the last thing we'll have to do is make the campfire and it's already hour 12. By the time we get in this POI, it's going to be the first horde night. But I really think doing these initial challenges will be worth it. I'm going to make some more frames so we have them on us. Don't give me shit for using the frame trick, motherfuckers. I'm definitely going to be using it in this challenge. All right. These initial skill points. Lucky Looter. Very important for this challenge. Javelin Master. Uh, Pummel Pete. And also cardio since we're gonna be running our ass off the whole time now we can scrap this wood club I'm gonna make two stone spears and another wooden club and all three of those things will be level two okay let me get this journey to settlement off the HUD and get my shit organized here let me bring down the bow and my spears and then we'll get in this house we'll see if we can get to the main loot before nightfall I doubt that's gonna happen but we'll do our best all right let's get in here hour 15 and we're finally getting inside our first POI. I was thinking maybe it would be possible to do a POI every night, but there's no way. We're not going to be able to clear this place and loot it before the end of night two, probably. But we'll just keep it moving, like I said, and do the best we can. I'm going to grab some cloth here. This way we can make a bandana, which will also help us from overheating. And also make some bandages, because I'm sure... I'm going to end up bleeding out at some point. Got something hidden down here. Oh, got to repair our axe. Let's put on the bandana. I probably should just be heading directly for the main loot to try and find a weapon, but you never know. You always can find some shit scattered around the house. Any zombies in there? No? Nothing up there. Some medical supplies. No, not going to make any use of that. I'm going to grab that chair. We can scrap it for leather. And if we can get uh, 20 leather, we can make a poncho, which will also help us from overheating. Got a bathroom right here. Got zombies beating on something. We're just waking them up all over the place. Oh shit, they're beating on the wall right here. I'm going to grab those painkillers. Let's just, uh, let's just go around and see where the hell they're at. 
There we go. There's one. Fucking hour 19. I feel like we just got in this place. It was hour 15. It's already hour 19. I haven't played... Oh, shit. Damn soccer mom. Close the door. All right. Frame trick it is. But yeah, I haven't played this game mode since Alpha 16, so it's been quite a while. And uh, of course, I've never done Horde every night in this game mode, so that's going to make it that much more interesting. But here's the main problem, is that it's about to be nightfall, and all of the zombies left in this house are going to turn into runners. You know, that's going to be more of the challenge than the Horde. This room is going to be our saving grace. That's why I upgraded that block one more time, and I'm knocking this block out here. So, as we encounter more runners in this house, we can retreat to that room if we need to. No, can't use the chrysanthemum. I will take apart this chair and couch for the leather, though, so we can make our poncho. And here we go. Horde number one, and oh shit, the back door is wide open. Never leave your back door wide open. You never know who might come inside. Scrap all those chairs. I'll grab some more chairs. And there are zombies beating on something, but I'm not going to worry about them until they're right in our face. Then we'll deal with them. Probably should check down this hallway, though. What about in here? Yep, we got one in there. Alright, let's run him around to our safety room. Oh, he just dropped dead. That's the thing about playing 10-minute days. Weird shit like that happens. Zombies just drop dead out of nowhere. Zombies spawn in out of nowhere, so... Weird shit's gonna be happening, and we just gotta deal with it as it happens. That door's locked, but she's about to break through. Let's let him out and retreat back to our safety room. I mean, I do have some arrows on me, but I'd rather save those for an emergency. Okay. Let's go finish looting the kitchen, see if we can find some food. Alright, I'll take that and we'll scrap it in a minute. Anything that we can scrap for iron, I'm taking. Because if by the graces of God we happen to find Junkie, I want to make sure we have iron so we can make junk turret ammo. Food is nice, and I'm taking these glass jars. I'm taking everything right now because I'm just trying to do this quickly. But we don't really need glass jars. We're not going to be making or cooking or doing anything like that. This is all about what we can find. Nice, got a good amount of food already. I'm going to read that red tea recipe for the XP, because if we can level up again and get another skill point, that'll be good. Okay, it is officially morning. One horde down, six more to go. Let's see if we can get through the rest of this house and get to the main loot and then get out of here before horde number two. Ooh, that's good. Just heard a wolf, though. That's not good. What do we got in here? Nothing? Check behind Ben. Suitcase. Oh, duh. We already searched that. Repair my sledgehammer. Scrap both of those things for the cloth, and let's get into the garage now. Alright, let's get up in the attic. Come on, nurse. Go down. There we go. And this stone sledgehammer. Sometimes it seems like it's such a beast, and other times it takes like eight or nine whacks. And granted, um, my character's still pretty weak. Damn, that wolf is still howling. Let's close that door. <laughs> That's the last thing we need, is to get killed by a wolf. We got three zombies right here. This is gonna be fun. Oh, shit. Um. Alright, we may have to back out through this door. We can't really do the frame trick here, though, can we? Alright, fuck it. Oh, she dropped dead. This guy's still walking around, though. Some yucca juice, that's good. Let's use a bandage and eat something. I know we got 96 hit points, but fuck it. Let's get it nice and full. And that wolf is still outside howling. That's not going to be good. 
This should be where the main loot is, though. Fucking hour 11 on day two. And uh, we're just getting to the main loot of our first POI. Should be right through here. Oh, shit. Oh, soccer mom. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Please don't let the wolf be down here. Damn it. Now, where's soccer mom? She must have dropped down, right? Oh, she's right here. Uh-oh. I still hear that thing, man. It's gonna come through this hole in the wall. And we're gonna be in trouble, aren't we? Come on! Knock this dude down! Oh, shit! There it is! Oh, it's not a wolf, it's a coyote! You little fucker! Oh my god, it's gonna kill us! Come here! Oh, now it wants to run away? After it made us bleed out? Let's use our first aid bandage. We're gonna have to. Down to... 40 hit points. Oh my god, this is not going well. It's all going to shit. We haven't even made it to the day two horde yet. Some honey. I'll take that. Where is that goddamn coyote, man? I'm not gonna let him get away with that shit. Where'd you go, you little fucker? Is he in here? He is. Yeah, you bastard. Oh, that, that was not good. We gotta have less of those moments if we want to make it through night seven. I'm gonna take the one and only painkiller we have... Drink a yucca juice. At least we're back up to full health now. All right, let's get in here and grab this main loot, finally. Got a weapons bag. Nice. Level 3 shotgun with some ammo. Uh, I'm not going to take the beer, but I'll take the honey, the red tea, and the food. Let's check this chest out. Nice. More shotgun ammo and a level 3 leather hood. I'm going to replace my level 1 padded hood with that. Got to take the mod out. First, though, put it in here. And I'm probably going to get rid of that crossbow and scrap the bolts for the iron, because that crossbow will do nothing but just get us killed. Alright, I'll take that food. And let me get rid of these glass jars. I'll turn these feathers into arrows. Um, what else? We don't need the grass fibers. Let's bring this shotgun down. Move all this stuff over. Uh, yeah, let's scrap these bolts, get rid of the crossbow. I think we're good for now. We need 11 more pieces of leather so we can make a poncho. But let's get the hell out of here. Friggin' hour 19 of day two. We're finally done with the first POI. That was a pretty big house, though. But whatever, let's grab a little bit more wood here and see what we're going to do next, because it is about to be Horde Night. There we go. I guess we're doing this building, whatever it is. What is this, the uh, food joint, I think. Yeah, this is a fast food place. Grab some more feathers. We're going to need more arrows, probably. All right, this is going to be it. Scrap that shovel for the iron. Painkillers, beautiful. Yeah, if we can find Junkie, dude, I, I, no more worries if we can find Junkie. I'll read that book, whatever it is, I don't even care. I'm not even looking, I'll just read it for the XP, mostly. How do we get in this place? Ah, waking all the zombies up now. And the back door is wide open. Oh shit, close you out. Oh, she made it back in, there we go. See? what I tell you guys about leaving your back doors open like that? Any crazy psychopath with a shotgun can just come walking right in. Close that door. Couple zombies right here. Surprise, bitches! Oh, how'd I miss that? Oh, didn't miss that. It's like I shot that first round right in between them. Okay. This shotgun is working out beautifully. Unfortunately, we only have five rounds left. We're clear out here. Let's close that door. Let's loot the kitchen. Ooh, coffee. Take that shit. I mean, we don't really need food at this point, but... It can't hurt either. Alright, I think we're clear in here. There are definitely some zombies outside trying to get in, but screw them. Let's break up these chairs for the leather. Hopefully that'll be enough to allow us to make our poncho.
I'm gonna scrap that knight for the iron. It is officially the morning of day three. Two horde knights down, five more to go. Okay, and that is enough leather to make our poncho, so let's go ahead and get that thing crafting. And I know we haven't had any problems with overheating yet, but what the hell, we might as well make that thing. We are in the desert, so anything I can do to prevent us from overheating, I'm gonna do. Let's get up here and see if there are any birds. I don't see any yet, just this zombie. Whoops. More beer, don't need it. Some armor. Take the level 2 leg armor, scrap the level 1, and I'll take the level 3 boots. Put those on in place of our plant fiber boots. I also just put on the poncho, and I'll take that ammo. Nothing we can use. Alright, let's move on. Day 3, hour 9. What's this across the street here? That looks like something we can get through relatively quickly. Before the night 3 horde. Looks like either a bookstore or a hardware store. Let's uh, get around to the front. Check it out. Oh, there's Rifle Marty's. Maybe we'll hit that place up after this place. I like these Old West POIs. You know, realistically, we have enough food and drink at this point to where we can just get up on the rooftop of a building, build ourselves a little hut to protect us from vultures, and then just wait it out up there until day eight. But for me, there's more to this challenge than just survival. You know, I like the intensity of trying to play it normally. You know what I mean? Just pushing through POIs, and then all of a sudden you're in the middle of looting, and it's a horde night. You know what I mean? So, I like the crazy, screwed-up situations you find yourself in, and then you have to try and get out of those situations. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty much an analogy for my life. <laughs> that's what I do. I find myself, or I get myself, into a screwed-up situation, and then I have to get myself out of it. And that's probably why I play this game the exact same way. It's like some screwed-up psychological shit or something. But if you were to try this challenge, and I encourage anyone who wants to try it to try it, I would attempt to play it the way I'm doing it now. I mean, play it however you want to play it, but I would suggest playing it like this. Because if, it's, if your goal is to just survive, then yeah, find some food and get up on a rooftop and wait it out for 70 minutes. I mean, what kind of boring shit is that? Or play it the way I suggested in the beginning, and that is try and build yourself a base really quick and see if it lasts for 70 minutes. That's an interesting way to play it. And like I said, if this video does well and you guys want to see it, maybe I'll try doing this challenge that way also. All right, the main loot should be up here on the rooftop, but so is a zombie. Oh, two zombies. Okay, and a crawler. I'll scrap both of those things. Yeah, because I think they both give you iron, right? Only steel tools give you parts. Okay, I guess rifle martyrs it is. Uh, we gotta go around back. Let's go ahead and use one of these bandages. And eat some food, get our health back up to full. Oh, it's officially the Night 3 Horde. I'm gonna eat this food because my health didn't quite get to full before. And why are there no encumbered slots in my backpack? I didn't put any points in the pack mule, so the bottom two rows should be encumbered slots. They were before, and I didn't take any steroids or anything, so... I don't know, maybe it's just a glitch, but I can't worry about that now. I've got zombies to worry about. And I hear some downstairs. Big boy's dead. And I'm not going to waste any ammo on this crawler. Oh, nice. But yeah, there are definitely some zombies down below beating on the building, so... I'm going to assume they showed up for the Night 3 Horde. You know, they sound pretty aggressive. Nice. Another first aid bandage. And we got to go down there. Doesn't seem like a very safe thing to do, but we're doing it anyway. 
Oh shit. Well, come on then. Die. All right. Um, let's close this door. Nice. More first aid supplies are always good. Let's just blast this dude. See ya. Oh, there's the horde. Trying to break in. Two zombies. That's not bad for the night three horde. Ten minute days. I'll take it. Oh, a third one showed up. Alright, time to start stabbing them. Oh, they fell down there. Uh, now what do we do? Break this block out? Ah, uh, it's morning. Screw it, that's what we do. Let them break in. Not a big deal. Uh, the main loot is... in this room right here, isn't it? Oh yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go down first. Got some zombies down here, though. So, gotta do a little dance around these boxes. Okay. Now, is there any loot down here? I think there's some in this corner. He has some medical supplies. Ah, uh, we don't need any of that shit. Nothing else, right? No? Let's get rid of these hay bales, scrap these chairs, and let's head upstairs. Now, here's the main loot. The zombies are not gonna break through that door because the floor gives out in front of that door, so they'll go down and then they'll come up the stairs to our left here. So we still got a little bit of time. Let's get in the shotgun messiah crate. Not gonna break into the gun safe. We'll be here for the rest of the challenge. Trying to break in there. Nothing we can use. Uh, and here comes this guy. Chill, dude. Alright. Let's smash him. Is he dead? He's dead. Let's get out of here. Okay, that's four POIs down. And it's the morning of day four. We did the house, we did the fast food joint, we did the hardware store, and we did rifle martyrs. And I think we're going to do this place to my right here. This is the New Hope, uh, whatever it is, New Hope cabin. This place is a little bit of a clusterfuck. I'm just going to kind of run through it real quick. We'll do this half-assed. I'm definitely not going down in the, in the well. There's like a whole underground thing going on down there. Not even messing with it. I think the main loot is in the main cabin. Which I believe I missed it last time I did this place. Man, I've been using this stone sledgehammer more than anything and I'm really liking it. And they're easy as hell to make. So shit, the next playthrough we do, we might have to go into Skull Crusher. And just right off the bat, start with the stone sledgehammer. I'm going to use another bandage, and we'll take another painkiller. Got our health back up to full. Drink a yucca juice, because that painkiller is going to dehydrate us. Uh, I was just saying how much I'm enjoying this sledgehammer. I get my ass kicked. I used a regular bandage again there, since I was uh, bleeding out. It's like as soon as we uh, get our health back up, we start bleeding out. Um... All sorts of zombies. What's going on? Look at this. What is a fucking wandering horde coming in here? Come on, guys. I got shit to do. It's almost hour 15 already. It was just the morning. Ah, uh, screw this shit. Let's just go right for the main cabin. Like I said, I think the main loot is in here. Grab this food real fast. Yeah, see that ladder right there? I completely missed that the last time I was in here. I don't know how, but I did. Uh, we got a plug right there. And we got a shotgun messiah crate right there. Nice. Shotgun rounds. Only three of them, but... They'll help. Uh, we had none. So, three is better than none last time I checked. Come on, guys. Get the fuck out of the way. Let's go. Just getting right out of here. Let's see if we can get to that crate. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Do not corner me in there. What a mess. Look at me. 
Wasting so much time dancing around with these fools just to get in this crate. Give me something good at least. Whatever. See ya. Alright, it's just past hour 19. Where are we going to hold the horde down tonight? <laughs> I know where the main loot of that place is, but too much of a hassle to get in there right now. This is the farmhouse from Navisgain. Let's do this shit. And this is going to be POI number 6 going into day 5. Right? We did the... Uh, the house in the beginning, we did the fast food joint, we did the hardware store, rifle martyrs, we just did the New Hope cabin, even though we kind of half-assed that place. And now, number six, the farmhouse. Actually, I guess we'll take the lockpick. Alright, walking into a fresh POI right when it's about to be the horde. What are you gonna do? Just works out that way sometimes, I guess. We got three rounds for this shotgun. Let's put him to use. Oh shit, where did she come from? Oh my god, this is not good. Ah, uh, dude. This is not a good position to be in. Let's just run. Deeper into the house. Let's see how many zombies we can wake up. Oh shit. Alright. This is fun. Here's what we're gonna do. Back down into the basement. Okay, are they all following? Well, the cheerleader is. Through here, close the door. Oh, shit. I wasn't quick enough. Here they come. I gotta pull this off here. Close the door. Fuck yeah. Frame goes down. Even though now we're outside, and the horde just started. I don't know how we pulled that shit off. Close that fucking door. Upgrade it. I don't know where all these zombies are at. If I had to guess, I would say they're trying to break in through the front door. And we have no shotgun ammo left. That sucks. Oh, no. We got zombies right at this back door. Let's get this garbage out of the way so we can put a frame down. I don't know how many are out here. It sounds like there are some running upstairs above us, though. We only got one out here. Oh, man. Close this door. Okay. There we go. Alright, I don't see any beating on this door yet. I thought there was loot under the steps. Alright, I guess not. Um, let's move on. Oh, look at that. It's morning. No sweat. <laughs> Easiest horde night ever. And here they come, too. Look at this. Perfect timing, you guys. Finally, something we can use. I'm kidding. Fuck off out of here. I was waiting for Cornmeal to show its ugly face. We got some zombies outside, but I'm pushing upstairs anyway. Let's close this door. Check behind these paintings. We're waking up the zombies up here. Just fine. It's gotta happen. Oh, I'll take the nerdy glasses. Could use the extra XP. Speaking of which, I think we leveled up. We did, twice. Let's just throw a point into strength and agility. Why the hell not? I don't got time to think about what would be best. Oh, dumb, I'm such an idiot. See what happens when I think too fast? I should have put a point into Skull Crusher, like I was saying earlier, since we're using this sledgehammer so much. All right. Come on, zombies. Sometimes they'll get stuck right here. No, nope, they're falling down. Okay. Let's get over here. Put a frame down. Got a zombie in here. And he should be the last one standing in our way of the main loot. And then the farmhouse will be done. And we are going into the night 
five hordes. So we're going to be approaching our seventh POI just as the next horde night begins. So that's going to be fun. Oh, shit. But we're going to be doing it with Junkie and a pistol. So now I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think we have much to worry about now. I got a good amount of 9mm ammo. Uh, I don't need the beer. There should be something else to search, though, on the other side of these uh, plates. A purse. Money. Don't need it. All right. Well, fuck yeah, dude. We found Junkie. Let's uh, bring him down. Let's put on this chest armor. Bring the pistol down. And we need to start uh, crafting some junk turret ammo. You know what? This might be a mistake, but I'm ditching the bow and the arrows. Fuck it. Between junkie and the pistol, I'm not going to be using it. All right, well, Horde Knight's about to begin, so whatever this cabin is right here, this is the winner. Uh, can't get in this way. Let's go around. I have, like, no stamina left. I'm trying to... Let that recoup. Oh shit, here we go. Alright, I guess we're going in. Oh, this is not going to be good. And I didn't load Junkie yet. Oh shit, they're coming from out here too. Oh, here we go. Fun times. Oh boy. I don't think we're getting out that way. We got no choice. Going up these stairs. I really hope this door isn't locked open. It's not. Beautiful. We got one zombie in here. Die. Yes. All right. Oh, shit. We got to knock this garbage out of the way. Let me get this door upgraded. Otherwise, I'm not going to have enough time to do it. Come on. There we go. Knock this out of the way. Man, how did we get lucky that there was only one zombie inside this cabin? There we go. Oh, you got to load him, asshole. <laughs> That's twice. I forgot to load him. There we go. Open the door. Fuck you guys. All right, let's use a bandage. We're infected so we can uh, eat some of this honey. And then the only way to get health back really is to either eat, just eat a bunch of food or we could use a first aid bandage. But I would just hate to do that, man. You know, it seems like such a waste. Damn, decent sized little horde. Some herbal antibiotics, I'll take them, even though the honey works just fine for curing an infection. Oh shit, there is another zombie in here. Either she just spawned in, or she's just a heavy-ass sleeper. Slept through that whole fight. Come on. Oh shit, reload. There we go. Um, close that door. And we got zombies trying to beat their way in. Uh, they can go ahead and do that while we search this place. Oh, well, it's officially the morning of day six. Scrap that wrench for the iron. I still have zombies trying to beat their way in here. I don't know where the hell the main loot of this place is. It can't be downstairs because that's where we started. Oh, here we go. Must be up here. Nice. I was like, where the fuck? I couldn't find the, the shit. Scrap those. Eat that. I'm just eating all this food to get some health back. Holy oh, shit, look at all this. I'm gonna scrap that, take that, and we don't need another junkie. Um, yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. More shotgun ammo. Beautiful. Man, we are all set. Let's go find, what, our eighth POI to do? That's got to be what it is, right? I know there's a Shamway Foods crate right here, but I'm not worried about it. These zombies are right here, so we're just going to bounce. But yeah, this is number eight, right? The house we started with, the fast food joint, the hardware store, rifle martyrs, New Hope cabin, the farm was number six, that cabin was number seven, and this house right here will be number eight. And probably the final one. We got a bird right here. Fuck off, bird. Because, yeah, this is kind of a big POI. And it took us two days to get through the first one. There's a lot going on here, so... This might end up being our final POI. We'll see. Let's just do it. All right, going in through the attic. Which means the main loot's down in the basement. 
Let's let Junkie get some work in. Whoops. Don't want to hit Junkie with the uh, sledgehammer. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Bleeding out. Not good. Let's use a first aid bandage. Might as well. We need some, uh, we need some health back. This goes up again? That's odd, isn't it? Okay. Got a couple of crawlers right here. Let Junkie do his thing. We'll make sure we didn't miss anything over here. I don't think we did. Nice. One of them dropped the loot bag. Sweet. Take the ammo. No need for the rest of that stuff. I mean, the level one pistol could be a good backup weapon since we don't have any repair kits, but we're fine, dude. We got this level three shotgun that's in good condition. And uh, our pistol will get us through two more small horde nights. Not a big deal. Not worried about it. Plus junkie. We're good to go. Is that guy sleeping or dead over there? I think he was dead. Like I said earlier, weird shit happens when you play 10 minute days. Yeah, that guy's fucking been dead. Oh, we just passed hour 19, so the horde is upon us. And there are already zombies trying to break in here. So we should probably go find where they are. And stop them. Grab these chairs, even though I'm pretty sure we're good on wood. Yeah. I don't see us needing any more than 200 pieces, but... All that shit is just a... Oh! <laughs> Damn. Woke up some more. But yeah, I was gonna say, all that stuff is basically instinct. I see chairs, I pick them up. And here are the zombies that are trying to break in. Let's let Junkie deal with them. Alright, let's watch our back. Even though I'm pretty sure we're clear up here. We gotta go downstairs now, that's where the main loot is. And now this video is going to be longer than usual for sure. But it's definitely not gonna be 70 minutes long because of editing. So... Just because it's called 70 minutes to die, the video will probably still end up being between 40 and 50 minutes long. I don't know, I'm just guessing. But let's just say the video is 45 minutes long. Don't make the joke more like 45 minutes to die. Don't do that. You're better than that, you know? That joke is too easy and it's not even that funny, honestly. And the reason I waited this long to say that is so it gave those people plenty of time to make that comment and now I picture them scrambling to delete their comment because of what I just said and that's funny to me. That's the joke. Alright, come on Junkie, we're going downstairs. Let's go find this main loot and maybe we can get out of here. Oh shit. I didn't realize they were that close behind me. I knew there were zombies up there but shit, I didn't know they were this close to breaking in. Come on Junkie, we're going back upstairs. That was not a good move. Alright, we need a safe room. Um, not the bathroom. Oh, damn, she's on my ass. Get the shotgun. Oh, it's not loaded. Get the pistol. Fuck. Okay. Let's get right in here. Close the door. Put a frame down. Well, it's officially the morning of day seven. We got one more day and one more horde, and we did it. I don't know where the rest of these zombies are at, but we got to go downstairs. And that's probably where they are. The main loot should be uh, right through here. No zombies down here. All right. Close this door. Probably should put a frame there, but I'm not worried about it. We'll hear if they start breaking through. And this is where the main loot is right here. And then that ladder should take us up into the garage. 
So if we wanted to be sneaky about this POI, we could have just broken into the garage, came down that ladder, and we would have had the main loot. Let's not even put a frame down. Let's just let this dude in. Eh, sorry, dude. I'm gonna repair this door, though. Oh, shit, I hear dogs. Yeah, that's not good. I don't know if those are dogs or wolves. It might be wolves because I just heard one yelp, and that means a zombie's attacking one. And zombies don't attack zombie dogs. I uh, can't use any of that stuff, but what I want to use is a bandage and this painkiller. Well, it was a wolf, and he's right here. Let's put a frame down. We'll let Junkie deal with him. Here we go. Open this door. Oh, and it was two wolves. Here, I'll get some shots in too, Junkie. So I feel like I did something also. Oh shit, three wolves. There's a fucking wolf pack. Damn, good thing we didn't get caught out upstairs by three wolves. That could have been the end of us. Well, here it is, day seven, approaching hour 11, and we are headed to our ninth POI. All right, this cabin will be the winner. I did a house flipper here. I'm familiar with the layout. It's not a dungeon-style POI, so it shouldn't be that hard to clear out. Even though we are approaching hour 15 here, so we're going to have to do that quickly. Then we'll hold down the final horde, and that'll be it. We will have completed the challenge. Oh, I blew his arm off. Let's do his head next. We got the window here. I guess I was wrong. This is a little bit of a dungeon style. In a sense that there's like a pathway to take. And there should be some main loot here. And there is. Oh. How'd I... Oh my god. How'd I miss those two shots? Let's not blow it here at the end now. Oh shit. Oh, that was a bird. Yeah, I thought that was a zombie coming in behind me, but no. That was a bird. So yeah, there, this is kind of like a dungeon style. Let's knock this trash out of the way. In case we gotta put a frame down there. Shotgun rounds, beautiful. I don't know why I'm cracking into this crate. Got nothing else to do, you know? <laughs> Just waiting on the horde. All right, here we go. Night seven. Seven hordes in 70 minutes. Like I said, let's not blow it here at the end. But you know what? I'm not putting a frame down. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Let's just put Junkie down back here. Let's get our weapons ready. And let's just have it out here. You know, she could go out the window in that room and then come in the window in the room behind me. I don't know why she's not doing that. Whatever. Come on, lady, hurry up. I got shit to do. <laughs> I got places to go. See ya. Where's everyone else? Oh, I think they're right on the other side of this wall. It's all open right here. Why wouldn't they just come in this way? Oh. Let's run. Oh, shit. That didn't kill him. Come on, buddy. What, he dropped dead? Yeah, see, they're all trying to beat through this wall right here. Let's help him out. There we go. Now burn, you fucks. Alright, we're just about done here. Oh, there's that stupid bird. See ya. Well, that was fun. There was a couple of moments there where I didn't think we were going to make it. Alright. Where are these zombies at? We might as well finish them off. I can still hear some. I think they're inside. Right? Here we go. Ah, oh, he's dead. And that's it. It's morning. We did it. Day 8. 70 minutes, 7 Horde Nights, and we came out on top. Even though, like I said, there were a couple of moments there where I thought we were done for, 
but we pulled it off. Holy shit, that was a lot of fun. I like this game mode a lot. I haven't played it in a while, and the Horde Every Night twist definitely makes it a lot more fun and a lot more intense. But look at all this ammo and food we have left. We can totally keep on pushing forward if we wanted to, but I'm going to end it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed that challenge. We can always revisit it if we want to, like I said earlier, and play it a little bit differently. Maybe build a base instead of hopping around from POI to POI. But for now, it's over. So again, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for whatever I might do next, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.